What's up, everybody? Big Hurt Prison Talk. I want to say Happy New Year and thanks to all our supporters. If you haven't subscribed, tell your friends and family to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fresh Out Life After Penitentiary, and also to subscribe to our Instagram and Twitter, which is Fresh Out Series. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at freshoutseries at gmail.com. And also, we have apparel. We have hats. We have jackets. We have pre-workout at www.freshoutseries.com. Um, I had a question from somebody here, and they were asking about uh, what does child time look like in prison? What's the schedules, and what do they serve you folks up in there? Uh, child time in prison. They have a child time first thing in the morning. I mean, the doors crack at about probably 5.30. Get up, make your bed, um, you know, get dressed, shout, um, usually brush your teeth, whatever, head to chow. They head to chow, they run chow for probably about an hour and some change from about, I think, six to seven. You come back, you uh, you shave, you know, use the bathroom, whatever you gotta do as you get ready to head to your job. You know, you gotta go to chow in your khakis, you gotta be dressed in proper attire before you go um, before you go to the chow hall, unless it's the weekends. Um, the chow is usually, they go by the units and they have like whoever them, you know, sometimes they have first place, whoever has the cleanest unit goes first, or whoever has the cleanest block, they go first, and they create a little system, and they basically open the units accordingly, and um, you just, when you hear the doors crack, you go. If you miss it, you're fucked. You ain't eating that day. So you go, and you have certain areas in each cafeteria where you sit at. You're not going to come in there and just sit where you want to sit. They got the... Uh, the, 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 the Aryans got their own table, the white boys got their own table, the Hawaiians, the, uh, the Latin Kings, the uh, GDs, the Vice Lords, the Crips, the Bloods, Serenios, Nortenos. Um, they got a neutral table for those who don't bang, who just, you know, are just trying to do their time. They got a table for them too. You got the Bay Area table, you got the Crip table, you got the Blood table. And, you know, then you might have, like, you know, the L.A. Crip table, the Northern Crip table. You have, you know, it just it just all it just depends on how big the chow hall is and um, how many different cliques you have in that particular institution. D.C. might have their own table. Do some Philly might have their own table. Um, you know, I, I've been to quite a few different institutions, and it just depends on how that facility is structured. Um, the food during the week, depending on where you're at, could be shit. I was at a place... And they served the motherfucking grits and fucking um, uh, uh, donuts every fucking morning, man. Horrible. They were just, it was horrible, man. So you didn't really get a real meal until breakfast time. So I never went to chow. Um, I was at, you know, at a USP. Now they try to serve you better food because they know that motherfuckers in there doing real time. And they ain't going for that. Food is one of the biggest things that create riots. If the food ain't right, hey, man, motherfucker will go to fuck off because... That's the only pleasure you have in prison is your food. And we've actually had a couple uh, lockdowns when I was in prison because of the food situation. So, yeah, the food has got to be on point. That shit, I, I, I remember at one particular institution, they served us rations, military rations. And they did it for about a week to see what they get get away with. They would open them up, try to heat them up and give it to us like fucking dogs, man. And it came to a point, the shot callers told everybody, hey, man, on this particular day, we're going to shut it down. And we shut that motherfucker down. Nobody came out to sell. You came out to sell, you got your motherfucking ass whooped. So, it, it, you know, it, it, that's how you, you basically create change. And food is one of the biggest things, man. That's the only thing guys that are doing all that time can really take pleasure in enjoying because you don't have no, you know, there's no women companionship, there's no family, there's no simple pleasures. So, um, yeah, the chow hall, like I said, is divided up politically and racially. And, you know, you have a, a breakfast movement, you have a lunch movement, and then you have a dinner movement around 5 o'clock, and that's it. You know what I mean? You hit those movements. Usually chow runs for, I think, about an hour and a half, maybe sometimes a little bit longer, and you got to get in and eat. If you miss it, you're fucked. Sometimes you have dudes who steal food, who bring it back to the unit. They slang food, and you can buy you some food from them to make your own little meal up. And um, the weekends, usually the meals are pretty much like whatever because it's not a big thing. They usually have like, um, like Wednesday would be hamburger day, hamburger and French fries for lunch. Thursday might be chicken for dinner, you know, chicken and mashed potatoes. Um, you know, Friday might be meatloaf. You know, they have certain days, they have menus, and they try to create a menu which appeases the inmates 
But um, yeah, the food is very big in prison, taken very serious, and um, yeah, the chow hall is a place where you know you go to eat and get the fuck out because you know a lot of lot of business is being talked in there. There's a lot of uh, commerce taking place in there, and it's just a lot of um, you know it's just a, it's a place where everybody kind of convenes and um, you know does their thing and, and you know moves on. But yeah, that's what the chow hall is about in prison.